We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today, today is my first video in about a week and a half. So I may make more mistakes than normal. I humbly apologize at the beginning. Now, uh, I saw a photo for this device. This is the, the Onega 2 by Sunbox. Uh, I saw this a while ago and, uh, and I decided to buy it uh, because I really like the look of it. Uh, it is a single 18650 side by side mod, comes with a die codes board, 60 watts, temp control, all that usual good stuff. And it is, it's not bad looking. I really like it. Now I went for the 18650 one. You can get this in 18500. The only reason I never went for the 18500 is because the battery technology for an 18500 hasn't really progressed in a, in a very, very long time. So that's kind of why I bypassed it. Uh, but just be aware, there is an 18500 version as well. And I think if you have the 18500 or the 18650, you can buy tubes and it, the, the adapters and so on to convert one into the other. They are available. It's about 270, 290 euros, about that for, for the 18650. You can buy this online. It's readily available from stores that I have seen across the EU. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Everything else we'll, we'll do in the close-ups. Here we go. So here we go. One sunbox box. Inside, uh, I got my little pouch, as you usually get with your sunbox devices. Little placky bag. In the bag, we had three battery wraps, some wire that uh, you used to always get when you bought anything with a, a die codes board inside it, so you can use this for your temp control. Some details for sunbox themselves. Authenticity card uh, for your device. And also two O-rings. Stick one back in the bag and uh, I'll show you what the other one is for in a second. Get my device out of the pouch here. Now just giving you a quick summary on this one. It's an 18650 device so the battery goes in the top. I don't have any major issues getting the battery cap off. It's got nice big thick threading so it, it drops in there no problem. I've put the battery in there negative down. I'm using my Molly cells. Uh, there are no indicators here at all, which is always grinds my gears. Uh, but uh, yeah, just a, a little negative symbol there. It wouldn't hurt, but uh, yeah, there we go. And you can see here that uh, you know the battery cap goes on, no problem at all. And even with big fat arsed fingers like mine, I can pop that down, no bother. Now, overall height on this one. So from here to here, you're looking at about 80.3 millimeters in height. You're looking about 47 millimeters across here. And the most important part is that you will get a 24 millimeter atty in here. It does measure out at just under 25 millimeters here, but um, yeah, 24 only. Now this piece here is nylon. This is a uh, nylon PE12. Uh, this is black, obviously. Uh, you can, if you have a look on the Sunbox store, you will find that he's actually got these in different colors. And there's also stab wood versions as well for these frames. And I'll take this frame off in a minute. Uh, so yeah, you can customize this. And once again, you can buy an 18500 kit for it, which will obviously reduce the size of the mod. And uh, yeah, right. What we'll do is I'm going to take this frame off. So just turning this over. Now it's only two Phillips screws. Um, it is for me, uh, my, my biggest bugbear with this device. I know it's something silly, stupid, and for a lot of people it won't be an issue. But uh, I do wish that I could get anodized screws, you know, so I could have black anodized screws to match my frame. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the silver screws here. They just, uh, doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for me at all. Uh, that is just, once again, it's just a personal taste thing. I'm just being a fussy old so-and-so. So both screws out there and uh, we should just be able to lift the frame off. And there you go. You'll see in the front here that we do have the, the Onega, Onega 2 on here. So if you ever forget the name, it's handy that it's written on it. Uh, but yeah, that's all. It's it's sturdy. It's You're not going to break this easily or anything like that. Now the device itself, uh, if you did want to go down the 18500 route, I'll just take this battery out of here just now. It's easy done. You know, I can just unscrew this tube from here, 
done and you would just pop your 18500 tube now i have seen that there are different styles of tubes also there's like heavily knurled ones there's ones that look like damascus so there there's options there also we have a bit of gold plating going on here around about the positive contact uh we have our firing button here on the side We'll talk about that a bit more in a second. And once again, we've got uh, the die codes board in here also. And you can see Sunbox. So I'll just pop this back together and pop my battery in and, and just put this down just now. Uh, the one thing I do want to make clear, and I'll measure this out here just now because it makes it a bit easier to, to show, is that uh, any atty you're going to put on here, remember you've got a cage that is going to sit on here. Uh, so your atty is going to have to come up this far. Uh, your atty has to come up this far, it can't sit any lower, or you just won't be able to reach it with your mouth. So just to give you an idea, you can see here, I mean, that's just under, it's about 47, 48 millimeters. That's the kind of height that you really need your um, RDA, I'm sorry, RTA to be, to work well in this mod. So I'll just put my body back on and then I'll, I'll put the screws back in here. And I should have mentioned uh, the 510 down here. Now you can adjust the 510. So if you have an air hole uh, and you want it to face out a certain direction, you can adjust the 510 down here. It is threaded. But I will also stipulate that these O-rings that do come with the device, you always want to use an O-ring with every atty. It's advised on, uh, I've just checked in the Facebook group and they do state that you should always use this down here. Now there is a, a recess, a cutout in there and I can get access, you know, just by popping it in there and I can get my big fat arse finger in there. Uh, it doesn't always stay in by itself. It usually comes out with the atty, but uh, yes, always use this. I've not had any connection issues myself, uh, no issues in that front at all. Um, uh, it does mean that, you know, when you're putting an atty in here, uh, you don't over tighten it basically. That's what this o-ring does. So it's always easy to get it off. If you did ever get an atty stuck in here, you can always unscrew the body, pull the frame off and, and you'll be fine. You can get in at it. Now, as far as sizes go, I just want to give you an idea on, on some of them here. So this is actually the, the Enduro, Scrape Enduro, but that's the, the 10 mil tank I've got there. Kind of gives you an idea on the size. There's an Evil Reaper V3 with the, the extension tank on it, the five, I think that's five mil if I remember right, but you can see where that sits. It sits quite low there, so I'm having to use a, a longer drip tip. There's a tripod from At Mizzou. Once again, you can see how low that's sitting there. So yeah, I mean, you do need a, a longer drip tip for this. Now, hopefully that's given you an idea on the kind of size of Atty you need. It's, I, personally, yeah, it's for your, your tanks that have, you know, the extended capacity on them. You, you do need a big tank for this device. However, what you can do is uh, you can buy these little doohickey things. Uh, they, do not, they don't come with the device. I bought this off Amazon. I think it costs me. You can get them from Chinese sites for two, three pounds. I, I paid, I think it was seven pound fifty for this from Amazon. Uh, and I got it at next day, next day delivery. It's got a few names, but this is a, a five, uh, the, and for my one, the one I bought was a 510 heat sink adapter. Some people call it a riser. Uh, but basically it's just going to extend your 510. Uh, so just making sure, I uh, see my O-ring, my O-ring's on one of those atties that I used, stuck on the bottom of my Reaper. Uh, so we'll, we'll just take that off just now. I'm gonna stick that on there. I've got my Integra. So I'm gonna take that, screw this on. And that does make it usable. Uh, so for a lot of the, the smaller tanks, it does mean that you can use them using these risers. Uh, you can stack these things as well. Uh, a lot of you will have seen these risers in, oh God, I've forgotten the name of the mod that it, they used to come with. Uh, but uh, yeah, it just means you can stack them. They're dirt cheap and it means you can use other tanks on top. Uh, I, I, I'm sure there's a 25 version, but obviously it will not fit in this mod because it's 24 millimeter ID only. But once again, this is, you know, it, it seems to lend itself to the, the big tanks, uh, you know, like flashy vapors and things like that just seem to, 
to look better with it, in my humble opinion. But we'll settle on uh, the Evil Reaper V3, uh, and I'm still using the riser block here, or the heatsink block, and I'll pop that on, and it just, for me, that that's my perfect setup for this. That's the, the kind of level I want my atty at, and if I wanted to, I could use a shorter drip tip now. So there we go. Now, before we go back up top, uh, just to cover the board, it's the, the Dicode V3 Extreme, 60 watts, and you can see I'm firing away there. We've got the old one, two, three, and we can cycle through all our functions here. And let's just see if I can catch up there. If you want to change my power, I can adjust it like so. Let go, and that's it. Usual die codes V3 Extreme. I'll, I'll pop a link in the description for the user manual and you'll be able to find all the user specs and everything you need to know about the board. But we'll go back up top now and we'll actually talk about what it is like to actually use this thing on a day-to-day -day basis, what it's like with the firing button and so on. So the, the Onega 2, or is it Zero Onega 2? Uh, the side-by-side the, the, the side -side from Sunbox. Uh, now, once again, I've got the, the Reaper V3 in there, but remember, I do have a riser block in there or a heat sink block, uh, just to bring it up a little bit taller. Am I glad I bought this? Yes, I am. Here come the cons. The cons for me, and remember, some of these cons are, are down to personal taste. Uh, they're not necessarily anything wrong with the device, it's just me sharing my opinions so what bothers me may not bother you but don't judge me anyway uh so the things that uh, kind of grind my gears a little bit are yes the screws i hate the screws i if i was going to buy this again or or i may investigate and look for them but i uh, i would want color coded screws i just i don't know if they, they may look even worse. Um, you know, if I had black anodized screws, would they look worse or better? I don't know. It's just every time... In fact, the first time I looked at this mod online, I think was during a live in my Facebook group. And as much as I, I, I kind of went, oh my God, I want that mod, I'm going to buy it. I then did go on to say, oh my fa and then proceeded to rip it apart because of the screws. I really dis disliked them when I first saw the mod, and even after buying it and using it, I still dislike them. So there you go, that's a con from me. Uh, this might be a con for some people. I, I don't know if this is fair or not. Holding the mod, uh, you can see you've, you've even got that, see that cut out there? It just makes it, when you hold it in your right hand, it just means you, you just, your finger just fits in there, curls around, and fires every time. It, it, no problem with this at all. Uh, however, right-handed, uh, that's for the right hand. For the left hand, um, I, I, just, I just don't find it comfortable at all. I know there's people in the Facebook group, the Sunbox Facebook group, are saying no, no issues with it. It's perfect in the left hand. They, they can just hold it like that, fire it like that, uh, thumb fire it, which I find really uncomfortable. I mean, thumb firing it for me, even right or left, I just find terrible. Um, Right-handed, take the finger round, fire like that, no issues. Left-handed, thumb firing doesn't work for me, I don't find it comfortable, and I don't like it. So that is a con for me. The other con, which may be unfair also, is the fact that, um, remember, the, the height you have from the, the base, the, where the 510 is, up to the battery tube here, is about 47 millimeters, I think. Um, so you, this is primarily designed for big tanks, 24 millimeter tanks. Remember, you're not going to get a 25 mil tank in here, 24 millimeter and smaller. Uh, but they, they have to be big beasties, they really do. Or you buy one of those heat sink things that I have in here just now. Remember, they, they cost, you can get
get them from China, they take a while to arrive, they cost £3 or you can buy them from Amazon uh, for about £7 and that is what I have here. I it just opens up the tanks you can use with the device if you have these little blocks and you can stack them remember you can stack them as well uh, the, there's part of me that wishes that uh, it came with something like that you know a riser block but um, it doesn't and uh, so I, I think it's almost unfair to consider it a con but I'm going to say it is anyway uh, now Positives. I think it's, and this is quite strange considering how I feel about the screws, I think it's actually quite a good looking device. It's, it's a, a, I like the cage thing going on here. I really like that. And some of the stab wood ones and the other colours look gorgeous. Remember, you also can get different tubes for it as well. Uh, they have Damascus, knurled ones and so on. You can get an 18500 kit, which will bring the height of the tube and it, you obviously get an, another cage for it as well, which will take it down smaller, possibly better for the smaller tank users. But remember, you're restricted with the 18500 batteries. Uh, yeah, the, the just... If the technology on the 18500 batteries had had moved the same way the 18350 ones had, then then I would possibly have gone for the 18500 version. But right now they just yeah they're just not that great. Other than that, the um, it, it, it's I like it. I'm glad I bought it. Um, it. It's the die codes board is as always. You know it's the extreme. You've got 60 watts. It, it, it's so many people swear by the die codes boards. I mean, I, I am notorious for grumbling about them and saying that the user interface is just outdated. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm using so... I think I've got about four die codes mods on the go just now. And obviously using them day in, day out, it, it just becomes less and less... I moan about it less and less and I find it easier to use them now as time goes by. So I wouldn't be put off by the board in the slightest. For a lot of people, the die codes board is a positive. The rest of it fit and finish, you know, battery cap and, and so on. Yeah, two thumbs up. It, it's, it's done really well. Uh, I, I really don't have any issues with it whatsoever. Um, I like this mod. I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I bought it. It's it did take me time to get used to the the firing button on it though. That did take me time, uh, but I'll have another quick vape. And uh, and we'll move on from that. Um, you can buy this. You can go out and buy this. This is another positive as well. It is readily available. There's lots of vape shops across the EU uh, that are selling this. I think even Japan and so on. You can buy this no problem. Uh, that's all I've got for you. I know I've, I, I'll have forgotten stuff. I apologise for anything I've forgotten. I'm really, really sorry. I'm not supposed to put links to stuff in the description for these videos. But uh, I will do for the manual and, and so on, just so that you can go and check out on all the things that I've missed or forgotten. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll get the hang of this soon. Uh, thank you to Sunbox for sending this on. I, I did buy this. And uh, thank you to you guys, as always, for watching. And until next time, bye for now.